First Alert meteorologist Chris Holzman joining me now. And Chris, the National Weather Service just issued a tornado watch for yes. our area. Yeah. Which counties are included and what does this mean? Yeah, so that's for our entire viewing area. And good afternoon to you and everyone out there. Let's break down what that means because on the Live 5 weather app, you got notified to that new tornado watch. And that means the ingredients are in place for a tornado to develop somewhere in the watched area. And that is ahead of a very strong cold front, which we've been giving you the first alert about to over the past several days. So our entire viewing area is in a tornado watch until six o'clock. And that's uh, basically when that strong squall line will be clearing our area. But uh, that tornado watch uh, remains in effect. Also, the wind is a big threat as well. We do have wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour at times. We do have that high wind warning for the coast. And then a wind advisory has been uh, issued for our inland locations, regardless of where you are, it is just plain windy. And when you're factoring in that heavy rain, sometimes hard to see when you're driving on the road. So we have some light to moderate activity now over Monk's Corner. We had a report of a down tree there, so the wind likely picking up. And uh, many of us are seeing that with some moderate to heavy rain around. The big front is right over here. This has been triggering tornado warnings really across Georgia into the panhandle of Florida early this morning. And that same line will be moving in our direction over the next few hours. So you you can see just a line right now of severe thunderstorm warnings up and down this line. When you get in these squall lines, which is what we've been giving you the first alert to, that means there could be some quick rotation, some embedded rotation within this line. And what that means is we could see quick spin ups over the next couple of hours. So keep the Live 5 weather app handy. You'll get those alerts on your phone or tablet. And uh, if you lose power, that's really a good way to get the alert. So wind speed, it is picking up sustained winds around 30 miles per hour at the airport in North Charleston. That's coming in off the moisture rich. Atlantic. That's uh, what we call advecting in some of that humidity, that instability. And because of that, we've already seen some very strong winds so far today. Falling close to a 40 mile per hour uh, wind gust. And this will only continue to increase as we head into the afternoon and evening. So over the next couple of hours, the front by two o'clock will be approaching I-95. And then we will be tracking this for any embedded rotation. Eventually by three, four, five o'clock, that line will be moving across uh, the low country. So a lot to talk about and in terms of our weather, the newest headline is we do have that tornado watch, of course, in effect until six o'clock. I'll break down all of the threats again with this system and uh, we'll let you know the forecast that will be coming up in just a few minutes.